silver addiction here on the mail call from Will, American Eagle Hoarder. Have the finds from three of the mystery hunts that I had participated in, as well as a Hamp one ounce silver bar that I bought off of them. Really nice shiny silver bar. It's the first one of these that I've gotten. I do have other silver bars, but I really like this one. It's in great shape. Really glad I purchased it now, holding it in hand. But from the mystery hunt from 8.3, I wound up with two 1966 40%ers, two 67 40%ers, a 43 Philly War Nickel, a 1941 Philadelphia Walking Liberty, 90% uh, half dollar, a 63 silver roosevelt dime and a 42 mercury dime that's a denver and that's a philadelphia then from the mystery hunt on 813 we have a couple of bicentennial eisenhowers clad a 1917 Walking Liberty, 90% half dollar. That one will probably go in my album. I don't think I have a regular 1917. I had, do have the obverse mint mark. This one is not that. But it is a Philadelphia. Yes. And a 1979 S. Susan B. Anthony. And we also have... A 97, 98, I'm sorry, wow, 67, 68, and 1969, 40% half dollars. We have two 1950 Roosevelt silver dimes and a 1951, all of which are Denver. Then for the seated hunt from 819, Two more bicentennial clad Ikes. A 1943 Walking Liberty half dollar. Uh, just a Philadelphia 79 Susan B. Anthony, not the wide rim. We had a couple of 1969 40% Kennedys. A 1951 Silver Rosie, that one's a Philly as well as that one. They're both Philadelphias. There's a look at my mystery hunt finds. Time to tube them up and put them where they belong. Except for that one. I'm pretty sure it's going in the album. And that one will go in with my stack. Inappropriately, I have it in the feed sold I got from American Eagle Hoarder. Thank you, Will. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you all have a great day.